So we're going to continue using the bus stop method, but we want to use three digit numbers today. So let's have a look at our calculation here. 536 divided by four. Now all that really means is that we want to know how many lots of four are in 536. Well, we're gonna start using our bus stop method just like normal. So first of all, let's draw our bus stop. And then we can put our large number, 536, into the bus stop. 536. Then we're going to put our divisor, which is 4, outside of the bus stop. Then we need to figure out how many times does 4 go into 5. Now, we've got one group of 4, we know that, but there's going to be some left over as well. So, let's try and figure out how many groups of 4 are in there. We've got one here, and this left over. It's like a remainder, isn't it? But in this method, we need to shift the remainder over, and we're going to exchange it into the next column. I'll show you how that looks. So we know there's one group of four in five, so we can do the one, but then our one left over, we're going to exchange it into the next column. So we just put it here to help us remember. So next then, we're going to see how many fours there are. Not in three, but actually in 13, because we're going to use this one that we've exchanged. So how many fours are there in 13? Well, that doesn't quite work either, does it? So if we get our 13 ready, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and we try to get some groups of four, we'll figure out how many we've got and how many we'll have left over. So we've got one group of four here, another group of four here, and we have another group of four here. But we still have one left over. So our three groups of four we can put that up at the top for our three, but then there's still one left over. So we're going to exchange that into the next column. So here's our extra one for my exchange. So now at the end, we want to see how many fours there are in 16. It's not just the six because we have this extra one. So in 16, I know there are four fours, so I can put four up at the top. And then we have our answer. There are 134 fours in 536. So 536 divided by four equals 134.